Are you staring at blank pages of your sketchbook, having no idea what to draw, or simply just lacking any motivation to do so in the first place? You're not alone. That was literally me like yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to let you in on nine tips that have helped me and other artists. So if you're ready, make sure to leave a like and let's hop into today's video. Number one. Take a break. Sometimes all we need is time to recharge. If you can, step away from the sketchbook, drawing tablet, whatever you're using, and try to just do something else that you like. Try a different hobby or maybe go somewhere. A change of environment can work wonders, even if it's literally just walking to your kitchen and making yourself a snack or take a nap. Anything works. Being overworked is a big cause of art block, especially for me and all the other workaholics out there. And it's really important to take breaks when needed. Number two, look at others' art. What I mean by this is try watching a new movie, a new show, read a book, read a comic, anything. Something that you've been meaning to get to and you just haven't gotten to it yet. Definitely this is the best time. Try a new art gallery, a new museum, which a lot of museums have put a lot of their pieces online, which is really convenient for those who maybe can't go out or scroll through Instagram, Pinterest, whatever social media platform you enjoy using and look at what other people have done. Sometimes we just need to grab ideas from elsewhere to gain inspiration ourselves. Number three, start simple. Just draw some shapes, some lines, squiggles down on your paper. This could also help if you're trying to draw something that you're picturing in your head. You just can't seem to get it down on paper. Or if you're trying to draw something that's just not coming out the way that you wanted it to. Start with simple shapes and lines to get you warmed up. And it just helps to get something down on the paper. Anything. Once there's something down, the rest will follow. Number four, draw your go-to. What do you usually enjoy drawing? For me, it's random OCs that I'll probably never use again. This is something that can help you get a drawing done really effortlessly and without much thought. Number five, do something more challenging. Draw something you've never drawn before, or better yet, Draw something you've never drawn before and without references. This will definitely get you thinking and if you can't do it, it's okay. It means that now you can find references online and learn something new. You could also practice drawing something that you've drawn before, but you're just not good at it. For me, that would definitely be feet. I cannot draw feet at all. <laughs> It used to be hands, but with practice, I have gotten better at hands. Don't be afraid to draw something that you know you're not good at. It's great practice. Try using materials that you don't normally use or limit yourself to using a specific color palette or just one color. Follow a specific prompt or try a drawing challenge like the one I did in this video here. Number six, practice your life drawing. Practice drawing from life, whether it be objects, nature, animals, people, anything. You can go outside and do it or find something indoors to sketch. Sometimes coming up with something from your imagination is challenging and an easier way to get the ball rolling is to use what's already in front of you or perhaps try a self-portrait using a mirror. Number seven, gain inspiration from past experiences or current emotions. Now this one can get a bit more personal, but as long as you're okay with it, it's worth a shot. Even if you're feeling sad or frustrated, try using that to create something. I think the strongest art pieces are the ones that showcase those raw emotions. And you don't have to show the art that you make using this method to anyone. It could be just for you. This is to get those creative gears turning. And sometimes I get really great ideas when I'm feeling down and want to make it into something more creative. 
I think that sometimes I get an art block from just being emotionally drained or emotionally constipated. Getting these feelings down on paper could really be therapeutic and could even inspire more ideas. Number eight, start a personal project. Sometimes I get these ideas that I want to turn into an entire animated short or this big project that just takes more time to put together. If you're feeling stumped, now is a great time to get that idea started. Even if you only work on it for an hour, 30 minutes, whatever the case may be, and you don't really return to it afterwards, this could still be something that you get done slowly on the back burner whenever you're in a rut. Or you could start something smaller, maybe something similar to Inktober with just a drawing a day, following specific prompts, making a series of drawings, whatever the case may be. Having a project idea could just help give you some direction as to where to start. And finally, number nine, make a schedule. Try making a scheduled time that you dedicate to drawing. For me, I can't really keep to a strict schedule, but I do tend to divide my week between the weekend, where I usually am a little bit more relaxed about my creative projects, and the weekdays, where I usually go more rigorous into whatever I'm creating. Even if your schedule just consists of drawing for 10 minutes before you go to bed, this could just help your brain get in a routine and make it a little easier to warm up and get something down on that paper. Be patient with yourself. It's not always easy to get out of an art block funk, especially if it's tied down to an emotional funk. Don't put pressure on yourself. Just let drawing be fun as it should be. Try out some of these tips and let me know which one works for you. If you have your own method to defeating art block, definitely leave it down in the comments so that other people can learn. If this video was helpful, please remember to leave a like or a comment to help the algorithm and this channel grow. Have a totally awesome day and I'll see you next time.